Hi there Aries, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you for the week of August the 14th. So we're in between the two eclipses. It's an exciting time, the intense but exciting. And uh, we're also on right on Mercury retrograde this weekend. So um, things can get a little bit sort of confusing, a little unsettled. All right, so you don't want to make any rash decisions. I mean, once that it goes into the retrograde transit it'll settle down next week but for this week particularly over this weekend of the 13th 14th 15th um, I would you know try not to be too impulsive or impatient all right now there are there's activity going on in the four corners of your um, world at the moment. So we do have an opposition between Pluto and Venus. Venus is in your area of home and family and Pluto in your area of work. So somehow these two can mix up. Now um, I, I like the Pluto uh, Venus opposition because it really just sends a spark of energy. And so this like this is early in the week as well. So just past a couple of days past the um retrograde so it's like we just get out of that chaos and we've got you know this but this is quite powerful it's transformational um both in your home or work area and as i said it can be combined in some way you want to let anything go that's just simply not um destined to be in your life during this time okay so don't like, don't like try to hold on too tightly. If something's sort of meant to leave or go, then uh, so so be it. Now, the leading up to the end of next week, the start of the following week, we're going to have the lunar eclipse, and the energy will change at that point. So. Um, uh, but we will still be in the Mercury retrograde, all right? But it will change in the sense that it will open up sort of opportunities. And that's going to be happening in your area of connections for both business and love, all right? So that's very, very nice. There are There is a, a favorable interaction between uh, Saturn and the Sun, this week early early this week and that's going to help you just get in touch with uh, Saturn is still slow slowish moving planet it's going to move out of this solar ninth house in your chart um, earlier uh, later this year right at the end of the year so for this specific time now it does indicate to me that you can get some realizations about um, what you've done in the past what you liked about it what you don't want to repeat so it's a good time to have some certainly with mercury retrograde it's always a good time to have some private internal time where you can think things through and you know what you don't want to do is go down the same path if that's not where you want to end up so it's a great time to sort of discard unplug and discard things in your life that are no longer serving you simply because you're a different person now okay so you want to revisit your goals in that sense and then towards the end of the week there's two aspects with Jupiter and one is a square with Venus and another one is uh, Mars is going to sextile with Jupiter so the Venus square um, is around your family and to do with relationships because Jupiter sits in your opposite sign or to do with relationships so you know don't expect that you're going to agree to uh, on everything with everyone and in this case particularly a family member all right but in the other sense with the um, favorable interaction between Mars your ruling planet and Jupiter well uh, this can set up a very passionate connection you have with someone and uh, and it's a message really when I look at all of this is that as always the choices in life are yours Aries so no matter what someone else says you should be doing uh, the end result is yours 
um, or the end choice is yours. So the card I've selected uh, this week, I'm using one of my favourite pack, a John Holland's Psychic Tarot Oracle card, and the card I've selected for you is Balance. Okay, there it is. There, it sort of almost blends into the background, doesn't it? And I love this because it's like there's that ring which is like the sun and um, then the wings of the angel and with so much going on in your life it's like you have to pay attention to your own needs yes but in this in the same token while you're doing that you don't want to leave anyone out either so when when there's a lot going on like this i generally suggest look for quality time with people not quantity all right okay so love and luck to you and love and light to you and um i hope you have a great week we'll see you next week bye for now